It has never been all that necessary to execute children at the tops of pyramids and throw their screaming bodies down to the masses. It has never been all that necessary to spend countless lives as conscripted soldiers, as prison guards, and as wage slaves. The temple is your identity. I'm going to explain something about money in this video that I wish everybody in the world would understand. I'm going to explain how to unplug from money as a social control mechanism and explain how universal basic income already exists, it has for many years, it's fully available for you to grab onto, you never have to work again at a job, and why this is something that the vast majority of people, although I have explained it to them for years, uh, typically will refuse to somehow believe, put the pieces together, and would rather, sadly, prefer to see universal basic income presented to them on a silver platter by essentially exactly the same entities that have uh, conscripted them for the most efficient system at global theft and murder that has ever been created. So let's begin at the left-right paradigm. Essentially, people on the right, um, the further right you go, uh, people get this more and more. There is a Federal Reserve System that is at the heart of every quote-unquote sovereign nation in the world. This oligopoly bank system uh, produces the and pumps the lifeblood of the government of every nation. Uh, the Federal Reserve, according to the people on the right, and they're absolutely correct, is a fundamentally illegitimate entity uh, that has somehow gotten everybody to use a type of money that is backed by the authority of force and no other true authority. Therefore, to me, your money is worth negative value uh, for two reasons. One, your money is not backed by value, it's backed by uh, force, that is murder, theft, compulsion, uh, torture, imprisonment. Those are negative values. And second, all Federal Reserve currencies decrease in value over time through a process known as inflation. Um, inflation means the Federal Reserve, in order to pay for uh, the operating expenses of the government in a given nation, produces the amount of currency every year needed to pay for the government. The people in the country um, that are not in the government, that means their money decreases in value by the equivalent expenditure of the government every year. Most people in the world believe that taxes uh, go to pay for the operating expenses of the federal government of their nation. Unfortunately, this is just completely untrue, not even close to remotely factual. The taxes actually go to paying the interest on the amount of debt that the government has. The actual operating expenses are completely paid for by the inflation of the currency. You can do the math yourself, it's very simple. The interest on the government's debt is mostly covered by the taxes of the corporations and the people. The inflation of the currency, that is the uh, surreptitious theft of value from the entire economy, is what goes to pay for the uh, operating expenses of the government every year. So generally right people, the on the right side of the paradigm, uh, they're, they're kind of like on to this kind of thing. There's a bank, uh, the people that run the bank are, uh, you know, corrupted. They basically just steal from 99% of people. Then there are the leftists who have typically 
caught on to the fact that the majority of people in society are putting on blinders, they're wage slaves who are distanced from nature and their own human natures, they're pigeonholed into overly simplified dualistic concepts of self-identity, they live in a perpetual cycle of consumption and the production of wasteful things that litter the environment around them because of very short-term, short-sighted versions of profit motives. They lead exceedingly boring lives connected to televisions and Facebook. I believe what synthesizes these two concepts is essentially the fact that the productivity of every nation, almost, in the world and global productivity is something that rises exponentially. Humans create exponentially more value every given time frame because of network effects. Also because um, of the accumulation of knowledge. Network effects meaning uh, basically now that you have the internet you can learn from as many people as you can be connected with, you can do commerce, and you can make art with as many people as you can be connected with. In the past this was very difficult. Most people never left their village of like 25 to 250 people, but nowadays you can travel all over the world, meet really cool people, watch this video, etc. The value of a network according to Metcalfe's law is proportional to n squared of its participants. Rather than being a linear function that increases at a given rate over time, it is a exponential function that increases at an increasing rate over time. So um, why don't we have uh, comfort in our lives? Why don't we have the uh, profitable padding to uh, become uh, socially transformative free radicals who are given to their own personal and local and community and global self-actualization. The productivity that rises exponentially every year is uh, inflated away by the Federal Reserve. And that action is essentially why it seems to most people that you have to go and be a wage slave. Automation is something that in 2017 we see as clearly on the horizon. Basically there's going to be this explosion of machine learning, intelligence, robotics, software will continue to uh, eat every given service and essentially do it better for cheaper. Um, there is nothing we could ask for more than to give up the necessity of going to a job and just having a robot do everything for us. That would be great. If not for um, the social control mechanism that is required by the totalitarian dictatorship that we live under. Universal basic income as a concept takes two forms. Two mutually exclusive uh, infinitely opposing forms. Instead of people giving up their money and their labor, rather they will voluntarily give up their sense of identity to the state, and the state will hold a greater monopoly on the sense of identity. In reward for giving up your identity to the state, you will get resource credits and money. Many people uh, of the modern era decry people of the ancient era as engaging in forms of physical self-sacrifice. For example, the Aztecs used to um, execute children at the tops of pyramids on astrologically significant dates 
and the priests would rip their hearts out and throw the bodies of the children down the steps of the pyramid towards the onlookers. This is something that I believe is identified with the martyr of Christ and is something that will continue to be rhythmically repeated by the state in increasingly abstract and high resolution forms. The giving up of our identity information to intelligence agencies, to databases, the government will only give you your universal basic income if you give them total control over your identity information. Bureaucratic, symbolic, linguistic, physical instantiation of the ego, the concept of the separate self, the persistent illusion that you have one identity, that you are one conscious being, when in truth you are all conscious beings who have ever existed and ever will all throughout the cosmos, in all universes, in all possible forms. You are a visceral, a visceral self-replicating instantiation of Godhood who exists in a distributed, solipsistic, holographically instituted, you know, words. Basically, this is what Bitcoin is structured around. In Bitcoin, you don't have to prove to any other higher authority that you have an identity. There are no identities in Bitcoin. The entire concept of an authoritative monopoly on identity documents is precisely the one that allows identity theft to occur. Nobody can steal your identity if there are, if there are no identities that exist. Bitcoin is universal basic income. It is the exact inversion of the monetary system that is established by the Federal Reserve, the state banking practices, the vicious monopolistic entities which demand you spiritually and physically give up all of your life energy to a higher earthly power. Because it's the complete inversion, it is already a universal basic income. If you put $20 into Bitcoin back in 2009, you have not had to work at a job since then. The only requirement for investing in Bitcoin uh, is having like a cell phone. You don't actually, you don't even need a cell phone. You can do it by hand using math. Money itself is something that increases exponentially in value over time uh, in unity with the exponential increase in productivity of the global economy. Although the global economy has exponentially increased in productivity for essentially all of history, um, wages in the last couple hundred years have been flat and even declined slightly because all of that excess productivity is stolen off of the top by the bank. Over the last 100 years, United States fiat currency has declined in value by 99%, which qualifies US currency as a rapidly depreciating asset. Why would you bank in a rapidly depreciating asset? Your money is worth negative value. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Zcash are the rap most rapidly appreciating assets ever created by humans. Universal basic income is really right here and no one else can do it but you.